beautiful people and welcome back to my channel okay so today I'm coming to you guys with an how-to video on how I do my textured ceramic vases they're super super simple super cheap um, I if you follow me on Instagram then you would have saw the before and after picture that I posted of the ones that I did yesterday I was flooded with messages after posting those pictures so I thought it would just be easier to film a video tutorial for you guys I'm gonna take you guys through the complete process of everything if you came just for the tutorial I'll include a timestamp here that Way you can just fast forward through the rest of the video um, if not i'm here at hobby lobby right now i'm going to show you the exact vases that i picked up i'm going to show you um different options for flowers or plants and stuff that you can put in them and i'm gonna show you the pricing and all of that so before we get into this video do not forget to hit that thumbs up hit that post notification bell so you know what i'm posting and don't forget to subscribe Alright, so you see all of these flowers and everything going on back here. See, everything right now is 40% off and some of them even 50% off. And we have all of our greenery back here and these are 50% um, off of these. So there's a lot of options. Let's see. Kind of like this one. How much is this one? So this one is 20 bucks. All of these different vases back here. We have some big ones down here. So these ones obviously already have like paint on them. And these are like the thicker ones. But if you want to be super cheap, these are the ones that I use back here. So here are all the options of the glass vases here. I bought this one. I don't know if you can see it. This one is 20 or 12 bucks. And then I also got like the bowl, which is so cute. This one is $8. And then of course you got this shape right here. And this one is $5. So these are all like extremely cheap. So also another option is to go to the thrift store because I know they have all of these as well um, for even cheaper. And if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, you can also go to Michael's or Joann's because they still have the same thing. I'm gonna get this one because I don't have this shape. And this one is $8. And then I'm going to get the taller one. Do this one. And... Ooh, I like this one and this one is ten dollars. I'm gonna go with these three. So I already got um, the leaves right here and now I'm gonna go pick out a couple more flowers. Okay, I'm gonna get some long white ones and this is ten dollars but 50% off. Let me see this one. So it's okay if it's long because with this you can cut the bottom to fit the size of the vase or you can bend this because it's wire. I'm going to show you these real quick as well. So these are just like little styrofoam pieces that you can actually oh, put inside. Obviously you can get the right size and you can shove the flowers in here so it doesn't move around. But um, I didn't actually end up needing those so you don't have to get them. We decided to go with this like cream color just because these are going to go in my guest room and my guest room is going to be like neutrals and whites and stuff so going with that one instead with paint you can get paint anywhere like you can literally go to the dollar store or target and pick up cheap paint now i already have um, wall paint at home but because i'm going for like natural neutral tones i'm gonna pick up just a small brown one so i'm home now let me show you really quickly what i got so i got the super tall thick vase there i got this little short one it's still big um and then i got this even bigger one here then i got some more paint brushes i got this brown paint which i'm gonna mix with my white paint i got this 
the, the cream roses or cream flowers, not roses, cream flowers here. I got two sets of white roses and I got this little leaf thing plant there. Okay, now with all of this stuff, I spent $60. Now you can go and literally spend half of what I paid if you go to a thrift store to get the vases and if you go to the Dollar Tree to actually pick up paint and brushes. And I also know that the Dollar Tree has fake flowers too. So I just know these ones are a little bit higher quality. Um, but yeah, so if you want to save even more money, go to the thrift store and go to the dollar store. Like you don't need like expensive paint. You don't need super nice brushes but I ended up spending $60 after all of the discounts and stuff that was applied. I actually decided to come to Dollar Tree just to show you guys what they have in here. And they have these smaller glass vases here um, for a dollar, of course. And then right now they just have all the holiday stuff out. Let me see if I can find any more flowers. Okay, so here I found these flowers that they have. And then also there's um, more vases over here. Uh, the long one here and then they got I think different shapes down here this one right here and then um, like the smaller little bowl one so they have vases at the Dollar Tree they're just a little bit smaller so they don't have the big ones that I have and then they have a smaller selection of flowers but the option is still there to save more money so when it comes to paint we're not working with a lot here at my store. Um, I got some yellow and green, and we got these foam brushes, as far as paint brushes. Find this one, an acrylic paint here in white. Um, this was just randomly put here, so maybe they have more and they just ran out. The yeah, other just kind of sporadic all over the place here is some green ones, light green, dark green. So I'm currently in the garage because I'm going to pour the paint outside because I'm not trying to waste any paint in my house. I have three cups because I want to try three different like neutral tones. So I'm going to fill these all up, not completely, just a little bit with white paint. And then I'm going to add a little bit of brown paint into each one of them. So the paint that I have is just white interior wall paint left over from painting my house. So that is what I'm using. Um, I don't know how this is gonna mix with the acrylic paint because this is my first time mixing up to try to get the desired color that I'm looking for. So um, yeah, we're just gonna figure this out. So now the next step is to add my baking powder. And this one is about a cup of paint, so you want a tablespoon per cup. Let me just kind of mix that in there. This is pretty much what it looks like. Um, it's actually like super light and airy now. This one, you can really see the texture here. It's like foam almost, it looks really foamy. I'm gonna show you the paint really quick before I started painting. So once I, when I added the paint in this cup, it was down to about right here when I added paint. Then once I added the baking powder, now it's up to like right here. So it actually doubles in size. So you really don't have to add a lot of paint. So I got my little station set up. I just put some paper down so I don't get any paint on my table. And then you just paint. I'm gonna start with the little one first. <laughs> Hi, boo boo. <laughs> Okay, something to keep in mind, the way you do your strokes is important because this paint is so thick in the texture of it, how it dries or how you paint is how it's gonna dry. So if you do like a little swipe and it's sideways, um, I'll show you up close, but if your brush is like, if you don't have clean brush strokes, 
you will notice once it's completely dry. So just make sure you take your time and get the strokes or the look that you want. So this is what it's currently looking like. Um, up close, you can see the sh brush strokes. So it will dry like this, which I'm okay with. So just be careful on how you paint it. And also this paint is super thick, so you really don't have to paint the inside. Plus this is gonna be filled with um, flowers and plants, so you won't see the inside anyway. Um, but if you don't plan to put anything in there, then I would paint the inside as well. So this is the first coat, super thick. It should almost look like clay. So it definitely looks like clay in person. I'll show you in a different lighting once I'm done with them. So I'm gonna let this dry um, probably for a few hours and then I'm gonna come back in and do my second coat. Okay, so I am back and now I'm gonna be painting the second coat on my vases. Okay, so now that the paint has dried, um, there are definitely not neutral tones or like the light cream color that I was going for. Um, they're purple, they're purple. And I'm an idiot and having all white paint and adding just a little bit of brown makes purple. But whatever, anyways, the consistency is perfect. They look perfect and um, now all I gotta do is go in and add the second coat. Okay, so this is what it's looking like currently. Um, yes, it does have like a little purple tint to it, but it's okay. I'm still gonna use it. Yeah, if you see it up close, you can see a little bit of the texture. Um, it, I mean, it looks like ceramic, like clay. Okay, so last thing before I go in and put the second coat, I would have done this way earlier, but we were running around and out of the house most of the day, so I actually painted these way earlier, and then the paint is still fine to use. Um, like, the paint is still great, but I definitely wouldn't let this sit overnight. So, definitely make sure you put your two coats same day. I've watched a few videos on this because there's tons of videos out right now. I think with the interior paint that I used, it, it because it's so thick and made to cover the walls that I only needed two coats. And honestly, on this one, I could have just gone one coat. But I have seen other people when they use like the cheaper paint, they need three coats of that. So that's something also to keep in mind because obviously the better quality of the paint, the less you have to use. Okay, so I am finished with the vases and they are dry. Um, so now I'm just gonna play around with the flower arrangements to see what looks the best. Now obviously this is not the color I thought they were gonna be. They definitely have a purple tint and I thought they were gonna be nude. So I'm just gonna play around with it and see what looks the best. So make sure you take the tags off of them. True issue is these cream colored ones because this does not go together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the one that I made yesterday and I'm gonna swap it out. So one second. So I made this black one yesterday with the white roses. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one out of here and put this in there that for some more white ones. And then I'm gonna take the cream colored ones and pop it in the black one. So all I do is just literally just bend, cause it's just wire. <sighs> okay, so here is the final look. Now they're obviously not all going up here. This is like my bar area that I'm currently working on, but I just wanted to set them up here just to show you. So these are some of the ones that I did yesterday, the black and white ones. And then the light purple ones are the ones I did today. So that is the final look of my DIY textured ceramic 
vases. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment down below um, as it's easier for me to respond to the comments on my videos versus all of the DMs that I get. Um, but yeah, super simple, super cheap. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting and don't forget to subscribe.